My good people, we are here. I'm cloaked up. Cloaked up. I'm ready. We are pretty zen out, dude. For we could be some monks the way we're sitting crisscross happy sauce on this couch. Dude, it's how it's how it be out here sometimes. Yeah. In the uh, what do we call auxiliary it? Auxiliary Freedom Shack. Yeah, yeah, the Auxiliary Freedom Shack. Yeah. I'm excited for this record, dude. We hit. Uh, I forget the entire name of the record, but Ziggy, Ziggy Stardust, Stardust, basically. basically. The, yeah. the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and something about spiders, I thought. I forgot. The Moon Men, maybe? I don't something know. Something like that. Long title. But. The abridged version. That was Ziggy in 1972. Stardust. So this, this is the year record. before. Yeah. yeah. 71. Dude, we are just saying the same words a lot. <laughs> Dor- <laughs> Hunky All right, Dory. let's see if we can do the, uh, say the same word on three. Three, two, one. Pineapple. Oh, I mean, that's key words to start with. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. All right, that's close enough. We're gonna. That gets a mic bump for sure. Damn, food words that start with the letter P. That's pretty close. Um, yeah, <laughs> hunky dory. I think we've heard changes, and that's about it, right? If we did life on Mars. I feel like I we did life on Mars. I think we point. might have at some point. Yeah, I think we definitely did. I put Vegas odds, and we did. Okay, so cool, that's cool, that's cool. The only two, um, and they're both on the first side. I'm excited, dude. I'm yeah. Excited. Yeah, we, we thoroughly. Enjoyed. Oh, we definitely did life on Mars. Yes, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, we thoroughly enjoyed our first Bowie record. We said, "Damn, we heard a shit ton of Bowie songs, never full record, and that was a game changer." Was a game changer. And I'm excited for another one, dude. Yeah, continuing the train. Let's You're do this. Young. Song. Thanks for being here with us. Oh, <laughs> dad joke. Let's do it. Let's do it. And my time was running wild A million dead end streets And every time I thought I got it made It seemed the taste was not so sweet So I turned myself to face me But I've never caught a glimpse How the others must see the faker I'm much too fast to take that test Ch-ch-ch-change it Turn and face the strain Ch-ch-change it Don't wanna be a richer man Actually, we did this one. Really? I would have remembered that chorus. I think I've heard it in a movie, but like, yeah. I don't think we hit it. The changes seem familiar. I watch the ripples change the size, but never leave the stream of warm and permanent sand. So the days float through my eyes, but still the days seem the same. And these children that you spit on as they try to change their worlds are immune to your consultations. They're quite aware these chords are crazy. Going through. Changes. Turn and face the strain. Changes. Don't tell them to grow up and out of it. That chord. 
Dude, that's immaculate. That might be an S tier song. At least minimum, that's an S tier chorus if I've ever yes, heard one. Yes, yes, yes. If I've ever heard one, that's an S tier chorus, minimum. Ooh, man. For side one. Wow, that was an incredible side one. Yeah, really freaking good. Really freaking good. Super deep, super emotive. Um, shows off his character so well. Like, such a unique... Just perspective. Yeah. Like, in general. Yeah. I do want to touch a little bit on changes, because I think we'll probably end up clipping that out and putting it on the channel. Yeah, for sure. Um, I love how it feels like Bob Dylan. Like, mm. like it reminds me of that he's singing in like a Bob Dylan esque style, mm. but at the same time, it's just I mean, you you, you touched on it, S tier chorus, yeah, like, like legendary chorus, legendary chorus. It's I think so I've heard good. It in a movie, like, yeah. Like usually happy parts of movies or something like where like some kind of like montage or something like yeah. I don't know. The guy gets the girl and they're walking down the yeah. sidewalk. Boom! Like that chorus hits or something. And like, I forget exactly what it said. It was like time can't change me, but I can't chase time or something can't, like can't that. Trace time. Can't trace time. Like that is just so poetic and beautiful and and just and just the idea of like embracing the change like we yes, like lean into the yes, strange yeah, like yeah. don't try and like like almost like saying like hey like to our youth like let's not like try and stomp it out like let them just fucking yeah. see what see what that change is you yeah know? Like, let them lean into it and see what's on the other side because also you're bowie at this point so like i mean even look at the album cover right like he's he's embracing some change he's going some wild sure. directions and he's sure. like Probably that's the reason he got there is because he embraced change himself. Oh, for sure. Like if he if he stuck himself in the same box everybody else was sticking themselves mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. we wouldn't get any of this. Yeah, a hundred percent. And like starting the record there is such a bold and powerful choice. And you have wild ass chorus having the whole time. Yes. Yet, yeah. Like probably one of the best pop choruses of that time too. Yeah. Like yeah. which is crazy. What I'll say is there's a bunch of those songs that have like the stuttery ch ch change or you know like mm -hmm. uh, there's that one Who song that does a similar thing. Yeah, Generation the Stuttering. Yeah. yeah, and this is probably the best example I've ever heard of anybody doing that. Same like rhythmically and just yeah. the melody like all of it like the, the vocals that would come to follow it. Yeah. Like And the meaning behind it like I, I bet I could dive into those lyrics for like a good 40 minutes and find cool things with you. That's probably one of the happiest choruses I've heard. Yes, like yeah. Ever, like ever. And it's also not talking about like a happy subject. Mm. Change is scary for most people. What? Well, that's fucking fair. But it's like the, almost like the like the idea, because it, it almost it was like, like a hopeful feeling. Yes, yeah. Like you hope that you could like let your youth embrace change and just see what that is for them or something. But you think of how mean? many people are scared of change. Mm -hmm. Like they like comfortability. They like what they know. Yeah. And they'll stay in bad situations because they know yeah. it. And so it gets you into such a happy emotion about the idea of having the ability to choose. Yes, yeah. The yeah. ability to choose to lean into the change or have the, you know, to not have all this pressure to like, you know, fit in a box or something. Yeah. So to your point, like the, the fact that it's so happy when it is, for a lot of people, a really scary concept. Like uncomfortable like yep, space. Is incredible to me. It's like probably really inspiring for a lot of people. Yeah, I'm I can sure. I can see so many people and like a weird time in their life. Like being a teenager? Yeah. And this coming out, like, it's probably insane. You break up with some girl, like, yeah. embrace the change, buddy. Like, yeah. that was cool. What's next is even cooler. Mm, like, mm -hmm. you're like, okay. Like, your parents get divorced. Like, that's cool. Like, embrace the change. Yeah. You're yeah. going to have some hard times, but it'll be followed by some good times that you wouldn't have had if you didn't have it. Yeah. So, um, just really freaking good, dude. Really freaking good. If we we're going to rate that one, hypothetically. I think it's S tier for me, probably. Because even yeah. the verses, like, yeah, I give agree. me almost like, like, in terms of the lines and the delivery, almost give me like Paul McCartney, like ballad vibes yep. a little bit too in the best way. And the lines are also super emotive and just amazing. The production's cool. I love the multiple yeah. layered voices. I like, think that's, uh, I think it's an S tier song. Right yeah, I, I like it more than Life on Mars. For sure. Same. Which, I, w I mean, it's so weird that that's the one that we were like, oh, we've definitely heard that one. We were considering we hadn't heard Life on Mars for a yeah, second. I think it's because we, we did like Changes by Black Sabbath yeah. or something. Yeah. So I'm going through changes yeah. or something. And like, I think we even didn't like it. Like, I was I was like going to that song expecting not to like it that much or, yeah. or maybe to have a new perspective on it. Like, yeah. I thought I remembered I was doing it and not liking it. But that's how I, that's when I knew for sure we didn't hit it because yeah. I remembered like the idea of the song title changes and not being huge on it and I was like there's mm. no way we wouldn't have loved every bit of that song that's true that's true you know what I um, mean yeah killer killer wow. song rest of the record let's not talk on that um, has been beautiful somber yeah. uh, quiet intimate I love the little eight line poem thing about the cactuses oh yeah, oh, yeah. like cacti cacti we well, said cactus and it, well then it's because cacti you're right you're right yep I'm staying corrected um and I think "Fill Your Heart" might be maybe my second favorite song on this side too. I really like I really love "Life on Mars," but we haven't hit "Fill Your Heart" yet. Or not "Fill Your Heart." The last quicksand. Oh, quicksand! Yeah, yeah. yeah really good one. Um, sorry, we're seeing the titles up here, but yeah, I just think that was a beautiful song. Um, there really was no 
part of any of this side one that I don't think flowed perfectly together with all of it. He seems to be running full steam in terms of like the artistic creativity and being mm -hmm. able to channel whatever his inner emotion or his inner just whatever he's trying to paint. It's like it's a clear like there's no blockages. Yeah. It feels like a clear like, you know, pipe of like transfer from whatever's inside to the audience. Just, and I, now I know the term hunky dory. Like I'm doing good. Like oh, it's, it's all hunky dory. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know if honky dory is actually what it is, and I've just been like maybe heard it through the years mm -hmm. mispronounced. Mm -hmm. um, but that's what it, it, it like elicits for me as far as a feeling is like everything's okay, mm -hmm. like everything's hunky dory. Oh, interesting. Which is wild because there's a lot of difficult stuff through this. Like it's talking about trying some, to show just like finding gratitude and everything in some way. Or it's uh, that the way I read it is almost like so when somebody's like, oh no, everything's fine, and it's like, oh, it's like, oh, but, but it's, it's actually, not. But it's, mm, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I don't know. He, just a he, he, yeah, he's like the gray area in hunky dory, mm -hmm. almost. Yeah. yeah, like what's yeah underneath the tarp. Cool. All right, fill your heart. Let's do this. Let's Start do it. too.